Hey guys, it's Liesl Jane. Today I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day to lose weight again. <laughs> this is a lazy day. Lazy day meals, you know, sometimes I just don't feel like cooking. I'm sure you know the feeling. You just want some easy meals, easy to prepare, easy to make. So I'm gonna show you some things that I have been making when I'm having a lazy day because I've been having a lot of lazy days lately. <laughs> These are some of my healthy, easy, go-to meals. And these recipes and this day of eating are an ideal day of eating for women who want to lose weight and get into better shape. This is kind of an example of what I would have eaten in a day when I was trying to lose weight. So I'm about to make breakfast and I'm gonna take you along with me today and show you what I'm gonna eat. When I'm feeling super lazy and I've forgotten to prep my overnight oats, cause you guys know that I love having that as like an easy meal. Then I like to grab my Ravitas from the pantry. This is not sponsored or anything by Ravita, but, but what I like about these Ravitas is that the 100% pure rye ones is that they're basically just pure whole rye and the ingredients are really minimal and they're pretty unprocessed and you know, they're just great for something on the healthier side when I don't have time to cook and I just want, you know, a healthy <laughs> cracker type thing. So I'm having four of those because they're pretty low in calories. Two crackers are only 60 calories. So about four is a good amount, I'd say, as a start. And I'm topping that with one third of a cup of hummus. If I'm getting store-bought hummus, then I like to stick to a brand that's ingredients are simple and plain. This one just has chickpeas, tahini, salt, garlic, and water. So it's pretty simple and healthy. And I always like to say the less ingredients, the better. And hummus is high in protein and some carbs and some healthy fats too. So it's really good for you. And then onto that, I'm adding some tomato. This is one medium tomato that I've just sliced up and then some black pepper and sea salt. And then this is just to be extra fancy and make them look pretty really, but I'm topping that with some microgreens, but they're just so cute though. I love microgreens, they're adorable. Um, and it looks so cute. So that's a great go-to healthy breakfast for if you don't have much time or if you like savory breakfast, then this is perfect too. And that breakfast will only be about 280 calories. So you guys know that when I was trying to lose weight, I would still eat at least 400 calories for breakfast each day. So because that breakfast was pretty low in calories, I'm gonna have a mid-morning snack as well. And as a snack this morning, I'm having a fruit bowl, fruit salad kind of thing. I've just sliced up one medium banana, which I'm adding to a bowl with a big handful of fresh raspberries and also some fresh cherries, which I'm so obsessed with right now. <laughs> cherries are like my favorite thing at the moment. I literally can't stop myself <laughs> from starting to snack on these right away. And with that, I'm also having a cup of black brewed coffee, just super simple, easy and healthy. And that in total will be about roughly 150 calories, just in case you wanted to know. So kind of like a second mini breakfast or a late morning snack. For lunch today, I'm making the easiest one pot pasta. This is one of my go-to lunch and dinner recipes at the moment. So this is so quick to make, but it's also full of nutrients and full of flavor. So I really, really love it. To start, I'm adding a small handful of chopped onions and one teaspoon of cooking oil to a big pot. I've used macadamia nut oil, but you can use another kind of oil too. I'm just gonna saute that over a medium to high heat until it becomes a little bit caramelized, not burnt, um, but just a little bit brown. And this is what's gonna add great flavor to the pasta sauce. So I've chopped up some veggies and I'm gonna finish making the pasta sauce. To my pot, I'm adding about two cups of bell pepper slices. I'm using red and yellow, and then also about two cups of thinly sliced zucchini, some sea salt and black pepper, one teaspoon of curry powder, about half a teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of 100% pure maple syrup, optional, but it really helps to balance all of the flavors so that it's not too sour, one tablespoon of unsweetened almond butter, and this adds a little touch of extra protein, but it also makes the sauce really creamy. Two tablespoons of pure and sweetened tomato paste, and then a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. 
and you can add a little bit of water to that too so that it becomes it starts to become a sauce while cooking and so that it doesn't get too dry and stick to the pot so i'll toss that on the stove over a medium heat for a few minutes until it starts to become a sauce and now i'm adding two ounces of dry gluten-free spaghetti which is roughly 55 grams of dry spaghetti and this will make about one cup of cooked pasta and i'm also adding one cup of water so I'll bring all of that to a boil on the stove and then let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the pasta is properly cooked. You may need to add a little bit more water as you go um, if the sauce starts to get too dry and the pasta isn't cooking and you can just keep tossing that in the pot. And just like that, after about 10 to 15 minutes, the pasta will be ready. So I'm serving that on a plate and then this is totally optional, but I'm topping that with a little bit of fresh cilantro and it goes really well with the curry flavor. And that's it so simple and easy and the best part is that there's only one part to wash <laughs> and it only takes about 20 minutes or so to make the whole thing from scratch um, i really like to use gluten-free or brown rice spaghetti as a healthier option for pasta um, and this recipe will give you roughly 400 calories and it's super filling as well and also really yummy So as a mid-afternoon snack today, I'm making this sweet little date treat. I've got some fresh medjool dates here, so I'm just using two right now. And I'm just cutting them in half and I'm removing the little top part and also the pit. And I've measured out about one tablespoon of unsweetened almond butter here. But you can use any nut butter that you'd like. Peanut butter is also really, really good. So I'm just spooning a little bit of the nut butter into each um, date half. And then I'm sprinkling a little bit of cinnamon on top of each one. And then just to add a little something extra, I'm also adding a few little raw cacao nibs to each one. Totally optional, but also really yummy. These little date bites are pretty rich, so, so just a few are enough for me, but they're really, really good. <laughs> Take my word for it. It's a really simple basic recipe, but it's really great for satisfying a sweet tooth in a healthier way. And the total for the snack will be roughly about 240 calories. Okay, when I'm feeling super lazy at dinner time, then I love to make either an omelet or a frittata. It's just so quick, but still healthy. So today I'm making a mushroom and zucchini frittata. First, I'm adding one teaspoon of cooking oil to a pan with about one cup of mushroom slices and also one cup of chopped zucchini and also some black pepper and sea salt. And I'll cook that over a medium heat on the stove for a few minutes. While the veggies are cooking, I'm cracking two free-ranged eggs into a bowl and I'll just whisk that with a fork really quickly and try not to get any eggshell in there. And once the vegetables are cooked, you can just mix them into the bowl with the eggs, give it a little mix and then pull the whole mixture back into the pan and you can cook it over a medium heat without mixing it. Don't, don't mix it while it's cooking. Once it's about halfway cooked, I'm just adding a little bit of fresh cilantro on top that I've chopped up, totally optional. And you can keep cooking that over medium to low heat on the stove. And once you can see that the frittata is cooked the whole way through, then you can flip it with a spatula. Then it shouldn't break when you flip it if you've waited till it's cooked properly. And then I'll just serve that on a plate and I'm topping it with some fresh baby spinach and also about one third of an avocado, some sea salt and a little bit of black pepper. And that's really easy full of good protein, healthy fats, and good whole carbs. And this frittata recipe will give you roughly 360 calories. Obviously, every woman is different, so the amount of calories that you need to lose weight in a healthy way will be different for everyone. This is based on about 1,400 calories, but you can change it up to suit your needs. I'm just giving you some healthy meal recipes that are quick and easy. And as always, I'm gonna put all of these recipes over on my blog for you. I'll put a link to that below this video. And I'm also gonna put a link below this video to a free three day eating plan that you can download on my blog. So those links will both be in the description box for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I would eat in a day to lose weight and what I, some of my current meal obsessions, some of my lazy day meals, hope that you've enjoyed it. Maybe you've gotten some healthy meal inspiration from it or some healthy recipe ideas that you wanna try out. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more videos. 
and I will see you again soon.